In this video, we're going to use the index and match functions to get the correct price for an item based on the item and the size. First, we'll take a look at index and how we can use it to get the price based on one criterion. So here we have jacket and we'll just find the price for the first jacket. In this cell, I'll type equals index and an open bracket. Where I want to look for the price is this array, and those are the cells that have the prices. Then a comma. Now I have to tell Excel which row to pull this price from. So we want to use the match function here, and it's going to find the first instance of jacket and tell us which row that's in. So I'll start typing the match function name open bracket, and the lookup value that we want is jacket, then a comma. Now where should we look it up? Where's the lookup array? And it should look in this range of cells, comma, and we choose the type of match. We want an exact match, so I'll double click, close the match, and close index, and press enter. It should have found the first jacket, and if we look down here, there's the price for the first jacket. So we haven't considered the size, this is just returning that first price. So we want to make a variation on this. We still want to look in the same range in the index, but we have to use a different method with match in order to find the correct row. So we're going to be looking for a specific size, and let's look for the jacket large. So I'll type the other criterion here, and we're going to use match to check each item and see if it's the one we selected and each size to see if it's what we've entered here, and then check the two together to see if both are equal to our selections. So to see how that works, over here I'm just going to type a simple formula that compares this cell to the item name that we selected. So that's equal, C2 equals the jacket, and I'll press F4 to lock that reference, and then copy that down. So we can see there are three trues where the jacket was found. The other thing we're going to check is the size, so we'll do the same thing over here, comparing the size to the selected size, equals D2, equals D13, and press F4, and enter, and then copy that down. So we can see there are three trues here at the end, and there's one spot where both are true, everywhere else it's either two falses or at least one false. Next step is to see what happens when we multiply these two columns. So again, a very simple formula just equals F2 times G2. We get a zero there, and zeros all the way down except this one row where both are true. So if anything is multiplied by false, we get a zero. If we have two trues, we get a one. So we're going to use a match that will look for a one in the results. I'm going to come back to our original formula and get rid of everything in the match, and we're going to type what we're going to look for this time is a one and a comma, and now we're going to do our multiplications in here. We're going to compare each range to what we've selected and multiply the two ranges together. So within brackets I'm going to compare the jacket to the all the items. C13 equals C2 to 10. Close that bracket times and then D13 compared to its range, close that bracket, and then a comma, 
And we want an exact match again. And then two closing brackets. This time we're not going to just press enter. This is an array formula, so we have to press control shift and then hit enter. And there's our price. Now if we look at what's happening here in the match, I'm just going to select this part where we're doing the multiplication. I'll press the F9 key so we can see all the results. So everything's zero, just like it is over here. And then the second last one is the one, and that's what it's finding. So it's finding the one in the results from our calculation and telling us what position that is. I'll press escape here and then it goes to this table and finds the eighth item in our price table. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.